Hello, my name is Dr. Ruthie or Dr. Ruth Newstifter. I am a professional sexuality educator and a relationship coach. I blog and do all kinds of good stuff over at exploringintimacy.com. And thanks to the great folks at Funwares, I'm here answering your questions on sex and relationships. You can send them on over to askdrruthie at funwares.com. That's A S K D R R U T H I E at funwares.com. And I've been getting some questions lately from the ladies with male partners, as well as from the guys asking about themselves or their male partners on different tips for how to have fun learning how to increase his sexual stamina, especially with intercourse. And so I wanted to talk to you a little bit this week about how you can use masturbation, if you're a guy, or with your male partners, if you have a male partner, to increase your sexual stamina. So that's how long you can last during intercourse um, and you know how hard you can go at it for how long. Um, so yeah, let's talk about that because this is this is a fun topic and uh, this is a fun set of skills to be building. And uh, you know, I talk a lot about how women can use masturbation to increase their um, pleasure and improve their sex lives and their relationships. But you know, it's it's the same for guys, and not just for stamina building in lots of different ways. But this time we're going to be talking about stamina building. So the first thing that I want you to think about, guys or partners of guys, is how you learn to masturbate and what kind of environment or setting this was while you were learning. A lot of guys typically learn that masturbation is kind of shameful or it's a real kind of jock activity. And um, because it's because it's a, a source of shame or embarrassment, especially in your own home, you don't want to be caught doing it, what does it mean about you, things like that. Um, guys tend to learn to do it with a sense of shame, a sense of like quick and hard and fast in this like uber stereotypical masculine manner and um, get off really quick and don't get caught, don't tell anyone, don't spend time meandering or pondering, get the job done, hope that nobody notices you, clean up quick, hide the sock and get on your way. Um, and you know, if for many, many, many of us, most of us, I would venture to say, masturbation is, is one of our initial hands-on sexual experiences. Our first sexual partners are typically ourselves, especially for guys. Um, and so if you think about it that way, not to get too soft and squishy on you, but if you are your first partner and your first sexual experience what did you learn from that pattern or that set of habits? Did you learn things that are serving you well in your sex life today? Now, by all means, masturbation, jacking off, wanking has tons of wonderful purposes. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with, you know, the wham, bam, thank you to myself method of masturbation. Um, that has very much has its place is fantastic. But all things in balance, all good things in balance, right? If this is the only way that you're masturbating, guys, then you're missing out. And you're also missing out on the opportunity to use masturbation to teach you more things about yourself and to improve your sexual skill set with your partners. So, um, you know, with that in mind, it makes sense that even though this might be this really basic activity that comes so naturally and you've been doing it since longer than you care to admit or remember, that uh, maybe it is time to revisit it and not just learn some crazy new masturbation techniques, but actually learn how we can incorporate that into our lives in a way that improves our relationship and can potentially improve our stamina. So how do we do this? Well, now that we recognize that masturbation is a powerful tool, no pun intended, for improving your sex life, guys, I also want to talk about it um, and rec clear up uh, that I'm not just talking about priming the pump here. So lots of guys kind of exchange the knowledge that you know, you should masturbate before going out on a date or something like that. It will help you to last longer because it, it kind of takes the edge off of the sexual desire. And, and also with a little bit of recovery time, depending on your age and your body and all that stuff, it, it will help you last longer too because you won't be able to get off quite as quickly right afterwards. So, you know, that, that can be valuable knowledge for many guys, but that is not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about actually investing some good quality time in yourself, gentlemen. Um... 
masturbating and using it as a way to learn more about yourself sexually can help you understand your sexual pacing and do it better. Yes, um, sexual pacing, when you go faster, when you go slower, when to increase, when to reduce, and not just basing that off your partner's pleasure, which is very important, but also basing it off your knowledge of your own body and how your own pacing works best. So in other words, there are alternatives to rushing to the finish line. Um, even with masturbation, so it can help us understand our pacing. Guys, it can help you focus more fully on feeling a whole body pleasure. You know, what if I told you that by concentrating on your pleasure and tuning into your sensations, you could feel orgasmic all over your body? Yes, there are going to be certain parts of your body, probably your package, that feel the orgasm the strongest, but you know, you can feel it from your head to your toes, but not if you're rushing and not if you're not mindful or out of touch with your own pleasure processes in your body. It can also help you to learn how to become more intense and then back off in order to increase your stamina, which is kind of the point of this video, but all this is pretty good, you know, important, fun stuff to learn. In other words, there are times to hit it hard and there are times to back off and be more sensual and to use more grinding techniques instead of thrusting techniques to appreciate the different kinds of sensations of penetration and intercourse and the different ways that you do it and the different ways you move your hips, right? Um, the euphemism of dancing together for sex, that can definitely apply, guys. And think about all the different dance moves that can happen. If somebody just went on the dance floor and just like thrust it away like crazy, people would leave a wide circle and leave them be. Um, but uh, the person who, you know, combines different moves of intensity and seduction will find a lot of dance partners. And it's the same way, sexually speaking. It helps you to have people want to have sex with you more often and enjoy it even more. So um, it, learning how to become more intense than back off. And you can judge a lot of that based on what you learn about yourself from masturbating. How do we do all of this? Well, my first suggestion is to consider getting yourself a good masturbation toy. And by that, I mean a high quality sleeve that has some sort of firmer outer case on the outside. Why? Because it's going to control the amount of grip you put into touching yourself and it's going to feel a little bit more like somebody other than you touching you. Um, that squishy silicone sleeve type stuff um, it doesn't feel just like a vagina, but it definitely doesn't feel like a hand, right? So my first suggestion to you is to consider investing in a toy like that. You know, purchase what you want, look at reviews, whatever. If you can't afford one, you can still um, use these different techniques and suggestions, but it's a little easier when it doesn't feel like your hand. The next thing I want you to do is to practice, well first of all, just masturbate like you normally do, but actually set the timer and pay attention to how much time you take on it, and um, pay a little bit of attention to what your natural habits are, how fast you tend to go, how you tend to pace yourself, do you pick you know, the hottest fantasy you possibly can and just go for it, or do you tend to linger more, do you linger more than you want to, whatever the case may be. Then, once you've paid attention to that, maybe you've written a few notes for yourself afterwards when you've woken up from your nap or whatever the case may be later on, gotten back from the break room, whatever. Um, and then, uh, you know, whatever job you have. Um, then go ahead and make some goals for how you would like to change as a lover, how you would like to be different from that masturbation episode, and then begin to apply those goals to your masturbation some of the time. Some of the time. Half the time, maybe. Not all the time. Um, and so if your goal is to last longer, to learn your pace yourself better, the next time that you masturbate, concentrate on where you're feeling your pleasure and where your sensations in your body about masturbation. Um, not just in the genital area, but how do your toes move? How does your brow move? How does your hands and your torso and your breathing and all of this happen? And become more aware of it. You'll start to recognize physical signs of getting close. Learn to recognize those and how to back off through your masturbation so that you can get close and then back off, get close and then back off. And you can do the same thing with your partner. It's going to increase your own pleasure and it's going to change your stamina and your pacing a great deal. Um, you know, take your time, see what impacts your mood, and have fun having this kind of homework that gives you a higher level of awareness about your body. And you, if you want, you can also strive to do this, you know, forward, slow down, forward, slow down, or just slow down, slow down, slow down, as the case may be, to teach yourself to learn how to masturbate for longer periods of time. It doesn't mean you have to be slow every time, but it means that you are increasing your capability of mastering your pacing and your stamina, and you can take that skill right on over to your partners.
I'm Dr. Ruthie. I hope that this helps you to reclaim your masturbation and build some new habits that help you in your love life. Thanks to FunWares.com, and I will see you in the next video.